Hello YouTube friends. This is my final video for 2017 and thank you for tuning in. My, uh, my grandmother had an interesting superstition. She uh, thought that if you started a new year off with something new, even if it was like a, a piece of clothing or something, <laughs> she thought that that would give you good luck all year. So I'm going to start this new year off with something new. Let's take a look at a tank project that I have recently completed and uh, be sure to give me your comments, suggestions, and anything else you like down below. And I will get back to you and, and uh, answer your comments, of course, as fast as I can. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, hey, thank you for a great 2017 and happy 2018 to you, my friend. So here's the project. It is a 100 gallon Clear for Life acrylic. I really like the curved corners. It came with a stand with a Marineland LED light set and um, I have included in it just some basic black sand and uh, some plastic plants some from the previous projects you'll recognize from the 60 but also some plants that uh, I picked up and some that were given to me as gifts for Christmas and so you definitely include those in your projects and um, for, for right now, what I have in here are some medium-sized fish, Plastidochromus like the Tanzania, the Maduka White Lips. Also have uh, some young eye biters, and there's a gar running around in there, and there's also an albino pleco. This sand, uh, normally I use aragonite, um, crushed coral. This is just basic black sand. It doesn't have any buffering qualities, so I've had to add some buffering to the filter. These rocks are zebra rock. You can buy them on eBay. I love the black and white and how it goes with the black sand. There's my Jalo Reef, a very pretty Plastochromus. Going back and forth at the bottom right there. More plants from my prior projects and also plants that I received as Christmas gifts, blocking uh, a view of the outputs and the heaters. And um, this one, this plant, you'll remember, of course, from the 60 gallon. It was in there for quite a while. Used to get a lot of compliments on it. So um, I like the acrylic. Very easy to move around. Uh, very easy to clean. I use a, a special acrylic cleaner called Plexus, which keeps it nice and clean. Very unusual to find an acrylic tank without scratches. This one was in very, very good shape. Picked it up at a very good price. The uh, fellow even delivered it to my house. So that was a very, very good deal all around on Craigslist. I was looking for something kind of basic, just plants and rocks and a black background. Keep it very simple. You'll notice here the um, algae scrubber has been brought over from the 135. I think it'll do a better job in the 100 gallon. Because of the position of the tank and the plants, it's uh, out of view, except of course for the bright LED light. And, uh, but it's doing a great job. Underneath the tank we have the FX6 that was brought over from the 135. This gave me a instantly cycled tank. There is some uh, pumice and also some um, coral in a micron bag inside that filter. The two 250 uh, watt uh, Aquion Pro uh, heaters, I bought them because they're all black, uh, are controlled by an Inkbird controller. The uh, filtration uh, with that micron bag is what's doing the buffering right now uh, uh, and keeping the pH where it should be. I may be adding uh, some black aragonite to the substrate uh, even though I already have about 80 pounds of, uh, of substrate in there. Uh, usual power strip with the lights are on a timer. So there's the, uh, there's the project, an acrylic 100 directly across from the Juvie grow out tank the 60, which currently is uh, growing out mostly Placidochromus, deep water Electra, uh, some gazelles. I also have a, um, I also have a flame tail in there, and a flavescent, and a few other fish that are being grown out. There are fish from the 135 that are going to be going into the 100. Mostly ones that, when they were brought over, didn't really thrive. Probably a good example would be the um, Super Red Empresses, like this one here, 
were very colorful and beautiful in the Gorilla tank, but when they came to the 135, lost almost all of their color. I have two of those in here. I also have a, um, a Taiwan Reef back there that was gorgeous in the in the 60, but when they when he came over to the 135, he lost all coloration. So he'll probably go to the 100, as well as a few other peacocks like the Otter Point, who though he has a lot of attitude, is not going to really grow beyond this point right here. So he's going to be overrun by fish like the Fusco who are going to get a lot bigger. This gold uh, peacock you see there in the background, he'll go to the 100. And so will the uh, Eureka Red. I might even uh, take over the gar. There's a gar in here that um, has been having a little bit of a hard time. You can see him there against the background. Might have been a little bit too small for this tank. A little bit intimidated. And the three uh, clown luchas, three clown uh, loaches, rather, those tres amigos will probably go into the 100. Some fish that are not necessarily predator haps like this Autopharynx tetrastigma or the large Taiwan Reef or the Bicolor 500 Tangerine Tiger the large Taiwan Reef back there they'll stay in this 135 because they're just too big to move so that's the plan So the next time you see the 100 it'll have a lot more fish in it there was certainly a lot of work involved and cost to move from the materials into the final product. But all in all, it was very much worth it. I enjoyed the project quite a bit, and I'm very, very happy with, uh, with the outcome, as you can see. So there you have it. Be sure to comment below, rate, share, and all that good stuff. And uh, you will get a, a button that will come up over here if you want to subscribe to the channel. And I want to give out a special thanks for those who helped make 2017 uh, amazing. Uh, my friends over at Super Cichlids, uh, Lisa and her gang. Uh, my friends over at the Facebook group page, Ben O'Cichlid. And also my admins there, uh, Evan Alexander, uh, Kevin Green, Dennis Rudell. Thank you so much for your help this year. And a, uh, a special shout out to those who provided me with some great fish this year. Live Fish Direct, Dave's Rare, Imperial Tropicals. Uh, came through with some great fish this year. And a, um, I'd also like to extend a very warm thank you to all of you who tune into this channel. You're very appreciated, and uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. All right? So that's it for now. Thank you so much, and Happy New Year to you, my friend.